Hey y'all, and welcome back to a new episode of Meal Prep and Motherhood. This week we have worked on 16 meals in less than one hour, and I cannot wait to share these recipes with you. Stay tuned, and I hope you enjoy. Make sure you like and subscribe. Welcome. All right, let's start our first meal prep for the week. We have our taco seasoning, ranch, and salsa. We're gonna do this chicken breast, some diced peppers that I had in the freezer, some Colby Jack cheese. I have a little bit already shredded, so we're gonna use what we have. And then we have some rice. Now, this is gonna make an amazing um, taco bowl, and it's gonna go into glass containers, and they will be ready to go whenever. So I actually cook in the glass containers. I found this on Instagram, um, Stay Fit Mom Krista, and I'm gonna put her information in the down in the doobly-doo, as Frugal Fit Mom says, um, so that you can go to that video, because it's amazing. Um, I do change up her recipe a little bit. The second one is gonna be two things of ground beef and black beans, and then I'm gonna use also the taco seasoning and some ranch, and I'm gonna make some tacos, taco stuff. That'll probably get us two meals. And then I have chicken broth and some different things in there. The rest of the chicken, I'm gonna throw mozzarella cheese and tomatoes on with a balsamic and make that. So let's get meal prepping, y'all. We're gonna get back on track this week just because I don't like feeling like crap. You know what I mean? So we're gonna start with our chicken. All right, y'all. So meal prep's gonna start now. We're gonna start a timer just to see how long it takes us. Um, you know. It's not always, or stopwatch, sorry, not timer. So I started a stopwatch to see how long it takes us today. Hopefully it won't take too long. I'm really excited about some new recipes. Um, so I got my containers ready. Did I have to wash some? So some of them are a little wet. And then my five, my big one in the back will be for extra chicken with the mozzarella. So let's get started. All right, so now we're just gonna cut some chicken. This is the Aldi's avocado oil spray. I love this stuff, it's super simple. And I have all that done. So let's cut our chicken first. Um, this actually was in the freezer and it's been thawing for about three days. So I know a lot of people say, I know a lot of people say they don't like meal prep and I understand that I, to an extent. Um, some people just say they, I don't like leftovers and I get that too. So. That's great and all, but here's the reality is like, sometimes you need something quick. And if you want to eat healthy and you wanna make good choices, then having meal prep or at least a plan is helpful. Now, as I said in my video last week, um, I don't stress about like what day I'm eating what. I just make sure that we have healthy options. If we don't have healthy options, then we're not gonna eat healthy. Or it's not gonna be our first choice. And it makes it more difficult when you don't have those options. So if you have it prepped and you have a plan, it's very helpful. All right, y'all, we're gonna start with the jasmine rice. And I usually put about a fourth of a cup. I'll put the macros in there and I'll also put the name of my fitness pal recipe if you use my fitness pal. Um, mine are again, a little different than hers because I really like hers, but I'm more of a fajita kind of girl. So that's why we have the peppers in there just to add some more vegetables. Um, and I don't do any cream cheese or anything because my husband doesn't do great with dairy. So uh, we're gonna start with jasmine rice. I'm gonna do a fourth of a cup of rice and a fourth of a cup of water. Let's do our one fourth of a cup of rice in each and then we'll do our fourth of a cup of water in each. make a mess while you're meal prepping then I'm not sure what you're doing. Mm -hmm. All right. And then a fourth of a cup of water in each. Now I might give this a little stir since I put the rice in first. Usually I use the water first, but I didn't feel like having to do two. So I'll start with that. So I'm just going to stir this up just so it doesn't stick to the bottom. Just a little bit. So now we have all of our rice prepped and ready to go. Now I'm gonna add my chicken again. So I'm gonna take one chicken breast and lay it in. There's some big chicken breast today. It's about four ounces is my guesstimate. That one's kind of skinny. Let's do a bigger one. Because these are for my husband, I wanna do the fatter ones so that he has enough protein for his day. And we're gonna prep that. Okay, so now we're gonna wash hands again. 
I don't want to get all that nasty salmonella in there. Now we're gonna put our seasonings in. And I don't measure my seasonings, and you really could. We're gonna start with taco seasoning. Um, I just kind of sprinkle on top just to give it enough flavor. Also, if you have your favorite like taco homemade recipe, please leave it in the description below. I would love, I mean in the comment below, I would love to get a good taco recipe. Or if you have somebody who has a really good one, that would be extremely helpful. All right, and then we're gonna add a little bit of ranch seasoning. And then we're gonna add um, some salsa. And you can measure your salsa. I just don't. I'm just gonna pour a little salsa on top of that chicken. Okay. And you could do spicier salsa. I just had the mild picante is what I had in the pantry. So that's what we're using. And then my peppers are frozen and they actually came out really good the other day. So I'm just gonna make sure I break them up really good. And that just gives a little bit of extra flavor in here. I just add a little bit of cheese and do not add a lot. Um, mine are based off about one inch cube, so just like the smallest amount of cheese. We don't like to add a lot of cheese to all of our meals, but a little bit of cheese just gives a little bit extra flavor sometimes. This is gonna cook about 35 to 40 minutes in the oven. Just kind of watch it as it goes. I think 35 is what I did last time, so I will definitely put that in the bottom. Um, but this is kind of just, a simple meal prep that is done in, in containers. I saw this on Instagram and I was like, oh my gosh, we have to try it. Uh, my husband ate it the other day. I only made two just to test. And he was like, this is amazing. So, might as well try a few more. All right, so while that is in the oven, let's prep the rest. This is just like one huge container of chicken. It's the other one that I had cut up. And I'm just gonna take the blend and put that on top of that. And just make simple chicken. It's so nice to just have chicken. So you can just throw it together with something. You could add a sauce. Um, we have orange chicken in there. I can make some rice, make something simple, but you always have protein cooked and that is helpful. So even if you just meal prep your protein, think about all the time you're saving. So I'm gonna grab the Italian seasoning out and throw that on our chicken. Just so it has that Italian flavor that we're kind of looking for. And then I'm gonna cut up these tomatoes and throw the mozzarella cheese and Parmesan on, on top with the balsamic glaze. And I had tomatoes that were about to go bad anyway, so it's good we use of those things. So that's the other thing is like, I like to just find what's about to go bad in our fridge and kind of steal, you know, <laughs> use it. We're gonna take our mozzarella cheese and shred some mozzarella on there. We did mozzarella. And now we're gonna do parm. So, freshly grate our Parmesan, just to give it that extra flavor. And then we have our balsamic glaze, and throw that on top. Kind of like a bruschetta chicken, something different. So this is gonna sit in the fridge, and then I'm gonna heat it up tonight, I think. I think that's what I'm gonna decide to do. So the other cool thing about meal prep is that like you can change up your mind whatever you want. So the last thing I'm gonna make is some tacos. So let's go do that. All right, so the last thing we're gonna prep is our tacos. I've got two pounds of 85.15 ground beef that we had found on sale, and then I'm gonna throw some um, black beans in there. So we'll get that started now. All right, so that it will get started and prepped, and then I will clean off some black beans and throw black beans in at the end, which we'll do in a second. But that's just an easy, quick dinner. Um, that way you just always have something prepped. And so like we go to the gym late, we could just come home and make tacos real quick. And I always keep the extreme wellness wraps, and then I keep um, nachos for my son because he loves tortilla chips. So you have to just do what makes it work best for your family. Like I haven't prepped every meal, but I've prepped a good amount, so I don't feel so stressed. All right, guys, so now we've switched over from the timer to, I just like to switch to my little thing right here, my little uh, thermometer. So my thermometer will tell me when it gets to 165 for the chicken, it'll go off and that'll be great. So then I'll check the other ones. Um, our chicken's done. We got one chicken done, 
This is just the plain chicken. And then taco meat's done. Um, these are two are JPs. They're about seven, eight ounces. And then this is mine. It's about six ounces. Um, well, six, seven ounces almost. So what I'll do is I'll take a little bit of ours, a little bit of each of ours and make nachos for our son. And then those are already prepped. So that's two meals, completely prepped, ready to go. You could just heat and you're good to go. Um, grab whatever toppings you want. If you want to make a taco salad, that's op an option. Or, um, just grabbing taco shells or nachos. Usually I do one taco, one nacho. Just makes me happy. So that is prepped. Both of those are prepped. Um, so we're just waiting on those last things and then we'll get to start, stop our timer and see how long it took us. All right y'all, meal prep's done. Let's see how long. Let's see, let's see. 56, oh, 57 seconds, 57 minutes, 57 minutes. I love setting a timer for things just to see how long it takes me. Makes me happy. All right, y'all. So let's look. We have our Fiesta Bakes. That's what I would call them because they're kind of Fiesta-y. My house just smelled like straight and, and a, a, like a Mexican restaurant. Super yummy. Those are finished. So there's five of those. Chicken. There's probably enough chicken in there for at least four to six meals and then four taco meals. So a little bit of a Mexican theme this week, clearly. A little um, different, a few different flavors, but not a lot. So that's all prepped. And then remember that we have our meal for tonight, um, our meal for tonight in the fridge and it's ready to go. It's got the balsamic, so it's a little Italian. So you just like change it up. Um, so I hope that this helps you take like one thing or two things and like really make it into a lot of different things because that's the hardest part with meal prep is like I get bored like super bored my husband could eat the same thing every day but I get super bored so this is our way of like making new things meals are ready um, we've made 16 meals today they're prepped and good to go I will have to add some vegetables that's simple throw those in the um freeze from the freezer to the microwave and you're done ready to go I hope you enjoyed today I hope you like and subscribe and you want to see more please let me know if you like these high protein meal prep please let me know I would love to see it in the comments also that taco seasoning if you know anything please tell me um, guys thank you so much for watching today I loved it and I cannot wait to do another one thanks guys bye don't forget to like and subscribe <laughs>